very good morning to you. Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. The hashtag is hashtag Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform. At Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. So make sure you keep that conversation going and uh, remember all our social as simple as at Y254 channel. So let's get into this particular interview. So in this particular session, it's all matters pertaining Halt price. I'm so sure if you're a student or any learning institution, you know about Halt price and uh, what it involves. So it's about a competition that involves university students or undergrad undergraduate that are tasked to come up with uh, business ideas and uh, are aimed at solving specific social problems across the world. I'll not explain further on that. I have two gentlemen in studios who will just take us through matters pertaining what health price is all about and why you should sit down and uh, why you should sit actually and listen to this conversation and get more pertaining the health price. So in studio I'm joined by uh, Pankaj Vasani who is the campus director at uh, Instatum University. Yes? Yeah, actually the assistant. The assistant. I keep on forgetting <laughs> that. <laughs> well, tell us where the, 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 the campus director is. And then we have Walter O'Brien. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Tell us your role again. Uh, I'm currently in charge of, uh, basically in charge of uh, getting sponsorships for this year's event. Okay. All right. So you'll tell us which, year, which event uh, is that. So studying us off, I would like to find out uh, what is Hal Prize all about and uh, uh, what does it focus on? Okay, so um, O'Brien could uh, talk about how it was founded and all that, mm -hmm. who founded it, and I could take uh, through the process. Absolutely. Yeah, so Halt Prize is uh, basically a three-stage um, competition. We call it more of a movement mm -hmm. where teams uh, come up with business ideas uh, that solve a social problem. And uh, the st three stage comes in that uh, there is the on-campus version. That's where uni undergrad students um, participate. They pitch their ideas, and then the top uh, three move on to the regionals that happen in different um, regional hubs. And then the top from regionals they move on to the accelerator program that's in the UK, okay. uh, usually at the castle. And that's where um, the the participants are assessed uh, based on the idea if it's uh, valuable, scalable and uh, assessed by themselves, how they are, and yeah, all that. And then the selected few then move on to the finals. Uh, now that's uh, at New York, um, US headquarters, where uh, the finalists get to pitch, and they win um, a, s a funding of uh, a million dollars. All right, we'll put in a, a summary of all uh, the whole process mm -hmm. on how it goes. Uh, and actually, it goes down. Uh, Walter probably will tell us what Hal Price, for someone who's watching this conversation and they're wondering what are we talking about and what it actually focuses on. So, uh, Hal Price was formed by Ahmed Ashkad uh, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it's mainly just for inspiring students who have no background in business or any idea about how to run a business or to get financing or anything involving business, okay. but they have the education, in, like going from school, and they have uh, an idea, a basic idea. It doesn't matter how crazy it is, just an idea on how we can help the world improve in certain aspects on the SDG skills. Mm -hmm. So, nice. so on this year's, uh, the main problem they're facing, we're challenging students this year is on uh, food for change. That's the theme this year? Yeah, the theme this year is food for change. Okay. And it's interesting considering that like uh, uh, most people have business ideas out here and they lack funding and the aspect of just looking for investors, then investors will want to uh, look at uh, a business which is actually running and sustainable and having someone who can, or actually an opportunity where you can showcase your idea and have someone fund it is absolutely amazing. So who can actually participate uh, in this in Hal's Prize? What so are the requirements? So you just have to be an undergrad student in any university in Kenya. As long as you register for the event, you'll be given uh, s a coaching and mentorship on your ideas and how to improve on it on certain aspects and how to make it scalable and how to... And basically, you just have a chance to compete in, the, in one of the largest uh, student-based competitions in the world. 
Okay. Okay. But can't you will agree with me that it's a very uh, competitive uh, glo global platform. Do we have Kenyans that actually uh, have won in this particular uh, hard prize competition? Yeah, so it's actually very uh, competitive because uh, we have uh, very many campuses who participate in it. And then uh, the campuses on all over the world now move on to the regional and to the final. So yeah, it's very competitive. Um, a Kenyan team uh, won in 2016. Uh, they're called the Bupas. Uh, they they are basically solving the problem of transport and yeah. Okay. All right. So we actually there's there's hope <laughs> that yeah. we can actually yeah. take away the, uh, this year's uh, uh, prize. So it's a time frame of how how long for one to actually head to the finals and uh, you know someone to actually listen to to your idea and walk away with the. Uh, 100, um, 100 million? 107 Kenya million Kenya shillings. 107 Kenya. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so, how, what's the time frame? So, w now if you register, you will go through the normal coaching panel beating until s uh, November the 27th, where we'll have, the, we'll have a virtual event because of the restrictions currently. But uh, you'll get to pitch in front of uh, experts in different fields, different judges. Uh, people who have the ability to help you scale up your idea to a different level and once once you get past there the top six will go to the next day and then the next day you get to give out your idea to a different ki to the whole panel and then from there the top three go to the regionals the regionals will occur next year in march or early may and uh, from there the top team goes to Spend a spend a month in a castle in the UK. Okay. So let me ask you. Well, th this is a, a, an opportunity for guys back in colleges, universities. I believe. Do we do they work in groups or is it just an, on an individual level? Because when you talk about coaching, uh, having getting trained, and it, I believe it's consistent until probably during the regionals. Uh, how yeah. does how does it work? Is it Indivi on an individual level or in groups? We encourage guys to register in teams because okay. different heads will have like just to come up with a better idea mm -hmm. and also give you different opinions and from there you'll just get amazing coaching because from over the past few years we've had uh, very the top executives and companies coming over so it's been a lot of fun mm -hmm. you get to interact with them even if your idea isn't as scalable you still have an opportunity to meet oh. someone who can eventually maybe one day hire you or okay. help you build up your another idea hmm. well so you have to agree with me that in a group of probably assuming it's 10 yeah these are people who have different ideas do i have to convince them of my idea so that we work together or how does it work so i think Mainly, we mm -hmm. think of groups of four. Ah, okay. That's sustainable. Yeah, group, groups of four. And in the group, I th we believe that you have to all agree into the same idea. Not like mm -hmm. so that they everyone is pulling on the, uh, on the same side. So that they, you can get the best out of your group and also a better chance of winning. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, back to you, I would like to find out, uh, how do your, these particular teams, uh, at the best level of preparation, how do they get it uh, to head to the regi regional levels, that is? Okay, so once uh, teams register, then we usually have training sessions before uh, the event. So from 2nd October, we are starting our training sessions mm -hmm. so that our lecturers, industry experts and mentors can now guide and coach uh, the teams themselves in various aspects. It could be uh, their marketing model, it could be their financial model, their business plan itself, how to pitch and uh, whatnot. And from there uh, now, it's, ba it's upon the teams now to take up the initiative to learn more and make it uh, to the best so that they can um, make it to the top three in the on campus so that they can move on to the regionals. Okay, okay. And uh, what, uh, what other value addition does the Hull Prize offer to these young, uh, young, young guys out here, apart from the, apart just from the 107 million? Yeah. So our, the main emphasis is not on the money, okay. but more on the platform that's given, because uh, we, we have to agree that uh, students don't uh, actually have uh, very many platforms where they can pitch their ideas and all that, and many of them hence get discouraged 
and they don't actually do startups and all that. But uh, we give them a platform where they can now pitch their ideas and if they are valuable enough and um, doable, then they move on to the regionals and they win the prize. But it's more than that. Um, it's more of the coaching and all that that uh, the teams get, the opportunity they get um, to pitch the ideas, the education they get to to basically make the idea the best and just the seed funding at the end. Yeah. Okay. So mainly it's the mentoring and coaching from industry experts. Uh, well, sir, you are also a student and yeah. uh, you participated on in mm. Hard Prize. You yes. tell us which year. But I would like 2018. to first. 2018. 2018. Yeah. What was the business idea? And you guys are partners. Yeah, so we partners. <laughs> what was the business idea and what level did you guys reach in the competition? Uh, our idea was basically to have a smart bin where businesses could also advertise and also collect uh, garbage from from just normal day-to-day -day activities that people do and we were to, st uh, to position them in strategic places where people could also see the bins so that for the marketing side it's valuable for the companies and from the bins uh, from the garbage we collect we were to sort them and from the from the bottles which were plastic bottles mainly we do vertical farming and from the vertical farming it's able to depending on the size of your of your wall where you do the vertical farming it's mm -hmm. in it's able to increase your productivity to up to 500%. Okay, so it's just recycling of waste, turning trash yeah. into cash. Yeah, in turning trash. Yeah. And uh, saving our environment. Yeah. So, for someone who is watching this conversation and they feel like they have this an amazing inven uh, invention or uh, an idea, but they just feel like uh, this competition is on a global scale, so it's actually not even possible. There's no need of me going trying and... Uh, just uh, what would you tell that person? Uh, so we actually encourage um, these people to actually participate, even though it looks competitive and it's global. It's not a huge uh, deal probably, mm -hmm. because we actually, um, as the committee and the organizing committee, including the campus director and uh, mm -hmm. the lecturers and all mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. we guide the whole teams mm -hmm. through the entire process mm -hmm. till the finals if they reach. So. We start from the on campus, we are coaching them and uh, helping them through. If they make it to the regionals, then we are giving them more emphasis on how to make them better. And if they move forward, then we are always with them through the journey. So it's not, it sounds huge, but uh, since everyone is together with each other, it doesn't sound, it's not that big. Right. It's not, yeah. And you also get to compete with other students. So it's not, you have, you're on the same level and you also get to get different experiences from different people in different countries. Mm -hmm. So you meet someone who's in from Nigeria, South Africa, Dubai. The exposure. You yeah. get a large exposure. Okay. okay. So another question, Obe, how many times can I participate if this year I didn't make it? Uh, can I participate next year or the other year? You can participate as many <laughs> times as long as you're an undergraduate. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So in a situation whereby I participated and uh, my my idea didn't make it to the pricing level and um, what happens next for that person? Then uh, what happens is since we already have industry experts uh, joining us in the event, there are mentors, coaches and uh, everyone who can help the teams. Whenever um, we feel that uh, a, t a team actually has a viable idea, they didn't even make it through but they're there. So we actually <coughs> have in terms of coaching and uh, mentoring, okay. giving them education on how they can make the idea even better so that they can try again next year. And even if not try again next year, we have um, companies who can also mentor them or coach them directly. So we also link up the companies and uh, the teams who are participating so that uh, they can be coached and mentored directly and taken up on the companies by themselves mm. if they wish to. Are there a situation about if my idea didn't make it uh, to the level of the 107 mm -hmm. million pies that I can actually get investors who still believe in my idea and actually we get to work together? Yes, it, it happens all the time that you come to the, to the presentation, you didn't get to the top, the top three, but one of the judges liked your idea and wants to invest in, in you. So they, some of the judges will just pick out a random team that did not get into the top ten and be like, this, I like this idea, and I want to help them grow this idea into something big. 
and help them move on. Okay. What are the three top, uh, I, when it comes to business ideas, what are the two, three top uh, things that probably the judges are looking for when it comes to idea, when it comes to a business idea that is sustainable, that is solving a problem in a society? What are the top three things that they're looking for? So the main thing uh, that's uh, focused on is on the theme of the year. So this year the theme is uh, food for good, food for change. Uh, so that's the main thing we are actually looking for. So if uh, the com the students have an idea that's around the problem of food, then that's uh, the first condition. And then the others now are the scalability um, and are they able to implement this in certain markets. So one might be having an idea that's not even doable um, at a certain region then that might not uh, make it through, but uh, a, an idea that is able to be to be done in various places and uh, different areas, then such teams are, have better chances of making it through. And we also place an, an emphasis on the SDGs so that uh, the students who actually have the ideas revolved around the SDGs and uh, try to solve the huge problem, then they also get a uh, better chance of moving forward. Right. So how is the high price rating and employment, the unemployment rate in the country? Uh, we believe that from the, competi the competitors, the main agenda is when you're doing the, when you're challenging the, when you're tackling the challenge, is that you'll create jobs, you'll improve the, you'll give a economic stimulus to the economy, and also that you'll be able to reach a global scale. So I believe that if a com if the companies get the 100 and 107 million, you get to create jobs and from these jobs you are able to hire a large amount of people especially because we're looking at it on a global scale because you, ex you expect it to reach 10 million people in by 2030 so we have 10 mi 10 years to reach 10 million people okay. All right. yeah. and when it comes to students and uh, here I am having this great business idea and I probably get to walk away with the, the 107 million back to my account for my idea to just start my business. Do I get a financial advice? Because at times it can yeah. just be overwhelming and you just end up to like swindle all the money you know, yeah. without a start. Yeah, I believe that for the way house price has been set up, they, once they give you the money, they'll help you. They're okay. still, they're, it's still, they're holding your hand oh, the, the it's whole not way. Like, uh, not like they're leaving you, like just go <laughs> on and do your own thing. Okay. They're like helping you to achieve your dream. Because mm -hmm. I believe everyone who goes into house price has a dream they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, what values have you gathered uh, so far since you, back 2018? Yeah. Uh, that you're part of house price. What are some of the values that you've gathered all through way that, uh, that has helped you and or will help you in the future if you start your own business? I think being perseverant, like just always just pushing forward. Because sometimes you just wake up, you know, like, oh, I don't feel like doing this today, but just keep pushing forward and teamwork because you, you end up working with a lot of people and also just being a bit more social because once you go for these events, it's up to you to walk up to the judges, speak to them, get to know their, how, how they feel about your ideas, where you can improve and also just to have a lot of fun with mm. the mentors. Mm, actually being involved, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kanji, how has this uh, experience of being an assistant, assistant campus director uh, for Health Prize at uh, Strathmore University, how has that actually added value in, in, in your mindset when it comes to the business aspect of it? So just being uh, an assistant campus director, before that um, I already have a role to play and uh, I actually take the tra teams to, through trainings. So I'm the one who will actually organize uh, different trainings for uh, these groups. And from there, um, yeah, they can uh, start competing. And now on be beside of uh, the trainings that I'm con uh, conducting, I'm actually looking through all the different um, committee members on what they're doing, how far they are. So I'll be with O'Brien, um, going through the process of uh, sponsorships, how, what, uh, how far are we, how good are we, how bad are we. Then we have the marketing team, so we are always getting in touch that how good and how well have we marketed ourselves. Then the, the teams, um, the, the committee for uh, 
hiring the teams and uh, registering the teams, how far are we with the teams, do we have 50 teams yet? So currently we have 40 teams, we are looking for more. So just um, the basic idea of looking through and working with everyone, with everyone at all points gives me a, moment, a chance to showcase uh, teamwork and uh, leadership skills mm -hmm. and time management itself. So that actually really helps. It has to be a lot. Uh, yeah. What are a couple of challenges that you're actually facing? And also uh, when it comes to the participants in terms of working as a, as a group, uh, teamwork, and what's, what are a couple of challenges have you seen them going through? And also we look at your other, the other angle, which is you as the assistant uh, director. So my personal challenges, I would, I would say that um, I don't really have experienced very many challenges because um, I believe in uh, tra taking uh, many opportunities as I can and trying to do a lot of things uh, together so that um, I'm not faced with uh, many problems. And with the team that I have, we rarely face uh, problems. And the side of the participants, um, we usually take them through the whole process, uh, as we said earlier, so very rare challenges, but maybe a few that um, on the process, um, one of the team member wants to leave the group or something, or we have an individual who has a fabulous idea, but they want a team. So ju those are just uh, the basic aspects about um, challenges, but we also try and help all the teams to make it through, despite the challenges. Mm. O'Brien, oh, you mentioned earlier on when we started this conversation about, uh, uh, you know, going around uh, looking for other means of just sponsors, sponsorship when it comes to events. So this is the time where you could um, <laughs> uh, just uh, in a very clear way tell us uh, what these events are, when do they happen, and uh, yeah, a little bit of that. Uh, so basically, the events go happen on the 27th and the 28th of November. Mm -hmm. And uh, mainly, we're just looking for sponsors who will sponsor the teams that manage to go to regionals. Okay. Because regionals are not only held in Nairobi at Strathmore, but there will also be another regional in Dubai, London, Paris, different locations. And for these students to go, not all the students who register have the means to pay for the trips, the hotels and the flight. So we usually just look for sponsors just to support these teams as they go through this process. And uh, I believe that these teams will forever be grateful to the, the companies or individuals who sponsor this, sponsor them through this journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the main thing is that uh, the regionals are held in different areas and so that uh, the teams that make it through in the on campus from Kenya or Nairobi itself, we encourage them to move out so they, they, go, they either go to uh, Dubai, South Africa, Nigeria, different areas so that they have a different environment on their own uh, since... And also get to network. Yeah, they get to network and the exposure is just uh, mm -hmm. different. Um, the, just the aspect of doing your business within your region, in your village, could be much different and uh, going outside could give you a huge different angle. Mm -hmm. So we encourage the other teams from outside to come to Kenya, to Nairobi, to pitch the ideas of here so that they can uh, feel the atmosphere over here and our teams uh, go outside so they can uh, network and feel the exposure over there. So that's where the main sponsorships come in uh -huh. so that the teams actually move out. Okay. Is it too late for someone who is watching uh, this conversation and they would, uh, they would like to participate? Is it too late for them at this particular time? No, you can register until October the 2nd. Okay. It registration November. is... November the second. Okay. November the second. Registration is free. You just need to log in with an idea and just that. All right. So how does that work? Do I do it online? Where am I supposed to go to register? So it depends with your university because mm -hmm. every university has a different campus director. Okay. But the, I believe that in Strathmore itself, there is a online form that was sent to all the students. Mm -hmm. So if it's just a simple click of a button, mm -hmm. and you just fill in your name and registration is just quick and have my proposal of my business idea no you don't have to post it there okay. you just you have to have just an idea yeah. you right. can keep that to yourself until <laughs> until the pitching time or when you start panel beating you ah, all right. nice so where can guys find you on social media if they want to have more information pertaining their health prize so oh. go ahead uh, <laughs> so we are on instagram yes. um facebook as well twitter i believe 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Strathmore Health Prize. All right. Yes. Okay. So simple as that. Yeah. All right. And, and we also encourage uh, teams or individuals who do not have ideas to join, mm -hmm. so that in the training process, it's not only um, the teams with ideas, but if you actually don't have an idea and you want to participate and mm -hmm. you you feel like you are actually meant for this, but you don't have an idea. Have an idea. So we also take the teams through the process of um, idea generation, how they can uh, generate ideas and how these ideas can be uh, valuable and scalable. So we also encourage uh, people without ideas. Yeah, there, I believe there are those situations where I feel yeah. like I, I would love to be part of this. I, I want this, but I don't really have that unique idea right now. Yeah. All right. So that was a hard prize uh, giving us a more information about a platform whereby actually guys can uh, that's university student undergraduate where you can actually uh, give out your idea and get uh to to have funding and, and this this is in a different level whereby you don't need to have an existing business which is running but you just have to have an idea at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platform at uh, uh at michelle is where you can reach out to me so uh, did i miss out anything any any projects coming up you guys are going to participate again this year I, I don't think so. No? No. no. Yeah. Okay, then. So, guys, thank you very much for creating time to be with us. Uh, we'll do this next time and get more information pertaining our prize. Hopefully, this year we'll also, you know, walk away with the prize, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers hopefully. crossed. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, make sure you don't touch that down. We'll be right back with another interview right now. We're going to take a uh, musical break. <laughs>